out of here. I'm back. Greetings, YouTube. It's been a while. In fact, it's been an entire six years. Also, it's been 10 years since I started this channel. So happy 10th anniversary to the Whole of War channel for all things, most things, video game music related, specifically Nintendo music. But second of all, uh, yes, I have, or I am creating this video with the sole purpose of letting everybody know what's been going on these last six years. You know, the reason that most people end up falling out of YouTube uh, is a lack of motivation or it no longer interests them or some other kind of life-changing event. And for me, that's really basically it. I was not motivated to continue the channel. And I think you kind of noticed that in my last video from all that time ago, uh, that was kind of clear. There were a lot of projects that I was thinking about that weren't panning out. And I really didn't know what direction to take the channel. I think I elaborated on that quite a bit, actually. I would only play my Nintendo games, probably twice, three times a year, max. And I don't know what exactly triggered it. Maybe it has to kind of do something with this whole being home all the time thing. But I've always had a slight appreciation for people who speedrun video games. And I would watch speedrunners uh, on videos, on YouTube, almost as far back as this channel goes. And it was always impressive to see how people would beat uh, the games I had grown up with. And I always thought it would be cool to really do that kind of thing. But it's not in it for me. Uh, I'm not good enough. Especially at the games that, you know, really are my favorites, like Super Mario 64. Uh, that game is just being blown to bits by plenty of other people out there who have more time to dedicate to a specific game like that. But as I was going through my Nintendo 64 collection, I came across a game that I really did love called Wave Race 64. And uh, as it turns out, if I just changed a couple of things around, I was pretty good at running it. Um, I'm not the best, and I'm nowhere near uh, getting perfect at it, but I felt like I had just opened up a door again into uploading videos on this channel, at least going back to the videos that I had uploaded all that time ago and a status update, a check-in, making sure everybody's okay, all my children. I've been reading everybody's comments. All I need to say is that kind of was the, the kick in the butt I needed to finally do something with this channel again. So over the last few weeks, I've been doing pretty much nothing but uh, going through all my old videos and fixing issues that needed to get cleaned up. Uh, for example, I was calling Donkey Kong Country 2 Diddy Kong's Quest instead of Diddy's Kong Quest. That was kind of funny that that's been like that for eight years. Uh, I referred to Resident Evil 2's name in Japan as Bioshock 2. So we need to do a lot of cleanup. That also includes some of the old intro stuff had to be cleaned up as well. Um, back in 2011, it was more common to have intros to your videos, and over the years people complained. So I started removing them, but not all of them could be removed due to the copyright issues, so I'm working through that right now. After all that is done, what, my, what I really wanna do is basically get back to, back to my roots, uh, upload, video game music and upload the best video game music that is there and, and introduce it to you again. Uh, 10 years later, we are still listening to these playlists that I have available. Um, and I realized that's the main reason why people come to my channel is to uh, put on a playlist and enjoy music from their youth. So if that's the purpose of my channel, then I am fully aware of that and happy to oblige. So let's add even more music from the Super Nintendo to the playlists. Let's upload more songs. Uh, after that, I really want to create a Nintendo NES playlist that will include all sorts of different music. It won't just be the main franchises. I will try to find a song from a ton of different games. There's something like 1700 NES titles that were released. So we might have it where it's only one song per 
per game that gets on the list, but it will be a great list for immediate release as soon as I get around to finding out what those hundred songs are going to be. And then we'll do something like a Nintendo 64 list extension. I think the first list I created has been good. It's not as well received as the Super Nintendo one, and I think the reason for that has always been that it was very much um, reliant on first-party titles. Yes. For God's sake, Top Gear will be in the Super Nintendo list. Oh my God. Uh, the, the comment I've received the most in 10 years is that I made the biggest blunder of the world by leaving Top Gear off. You know what Top Gear is to me? It's a TV show. I'm not thinking about the video game. Never heard of it until after I created these lists. So please leave me alone about Top Gear. I'm remedying that situation. After that, we'll probably um, have to have another conversation like this because I imagine that will only last us maybe a few months. But really what I want to try and do is see how, how far this motivation, this current um, wind of motivation I have takes me, which might end up uh, having us explore some other music stuff. I might release the um, audio. I have only audio of what I was going to do, a review of Koji Kondo, the composer, and how I feel about his um, more recent work. And it might be released kind of more like a podcast where you can, where you just kind of put the audio on and listen to it. Um, but it's very heavily opinionated. That's why I've kind of kept it under wraps till now. There's also um, a desire or interest to take kind of two of my most biggest interests, which is video games and geography, and do something related to that. Um, maybe explore the geography of different video games. You know, what is the geography of Super Mario 64? What is the geography of Diddy Kong Racing? What is the geography of Turok 2? How did they come up with the landscape, the environments for these games? What inspired them in the world? I think going down that avenue would be something unique and original that would finally satiate that um, that desire of mine to do something different than what I've seen on the internet. So I'm going to look into doing a couple videos around that. We'll see what that how that goes. Uh, I've gotten back into collecting and interested in collecting again. I think that's a huge thing that's actually taken off in the last six months is a lot of the value of games has been going up. People are playing more video games than ever before. And uh, I've noticed that a lot of the prices of video games are of going up too. So if you own video games, especially retro ones, now would possibly be the time to either buy them because it's going to keep increasing in value or wait till after um, everything kind of settles down in the world. Depending on how you look at inflation, the cost of what you probably paid for games like Nintendo 64 games now is almost back to full value of what you paid for it. Uh, most games. Uh, some of them are going to be cheap ass Madden NFL 2001, <laughs> for example. But uh, other games like Mario Party are very sought after. So if you're watching this and you're not aware of that, keep a hold of those games because they are becoming more um, wanted by by people. So here we are. Accepted. Yeah, so happy 10th anniversary channel that I've neglected for half of that time. Um, hopefully I can make up for it with at least in the foreseeable future some really awesome videos that I have planned that will be coming your way within the next month or two. So stay tuned. Thank you for subscribing. 22 this is 2,400 subscribers is amazing. And when I left this channel in 2014, that was 900. So even with no content being uploaded, I'm still growing. And what I imagine, again, that's because of the, the availability of these playlists, of this music for free. I make no profit on any video. I do this solely for fun and to share what was an amazing era of video gaming. And I will do that for as long as I possibly can, on this platform at least. So with that being said, I hope you will stay subscribed and uh, 
I'm glad to see you again and let's talk about video games. I'll be here watching the comments and I'll be watching the comments of other uh, videos on my channel as well. And uh, yeah, um, I'm sorry. I'm terribly sorry if you have missed uh, what this channel used to be. Um, let's see what we can do about that going forward. Catch you on the flip side and stick around.